Hi everyone, we have some of ready to come to life with us. Uh, we'll ask them a few questions about the Bible. So, tell us, why do you feel the Bible will continue to grow its progress even after 2020? Well, Mohsen, that's a very good question. If you go back to the track record of the Bible, we can see that they have been the masters in providing innovative ideas and creating them. And uh, it has been happening for the past decades. And uh, mega structures have been in process, ongoing, non-stop. So if you look at it, it all started with Palm Jumeirah and Marina. Then we had, but it didn't stop there. There was more to come day after day, month after month, year after year. Um, and then they delivered the Dubai Parks and Resorts, the Dubai Al Maktoum International Airport, and the Business Bay Water Canal, and the Frame, and you can, and so many, there's so many more that are still in the pipeline. So there's no way that this would cease, the process would cease. It's probably going to go on because that is what Dubai is all about new ideas, um, having a vision, and then making that vision come to reality. So Salas, how do you feel that off-plan investments in Dubai are completely safe and secure? And as a layman, what do you suggest for a person who is willing to invest in Dubai this time around? Well, Mohsen, that's a very interesting question. To be honest, if you look at the off-plan project specifically, and the procedure that has fallen in place over the past couple of years, less than a decade ago, are very interesting. They are the most transparent and the most efficient in the whole world. If you go to any of the first world countries, you're probably not gonna, not gonna be able to do it as smoothly and as efficiently as you do it here. You might have to engage lawyers, the whole procedure is confusing, it's not crystal clear. If you are a person who, does, who is not a local in that country, it can be a nightmare sometimes and you'd be totally lost. You might even be tricked into something that you, you didn't want to initially. But in Dubai, because the government has stepped in and has a very strong control over off-plan sales. They have put in place smart systems. They have put in place escrow accounts. They have put in place online government portals where you can get all the information about a specific project and how reliable it is. Um, in this manner, a, a client or a person has the utmost security because uh, the Dubai Land Department is taking an initiative to make sure that that happens. Apart from the fact that Dubai has the best, uh, uh, safest um, location and has the lowest crime rate, it also has uh, projects which are of high, high class and world class standards. So, um, so basically, it's all because of the government being so in so much involved and the fact that they are um, learners. They want to keep learning so and they've you learned... You just spoke about escrow account. So as a layman, I'm not sure what escrow account is. What an offline investment. Well, that's, that's also a very interesting question. Escrow account is a, an account which is controlled by the government. All these rules and regulations have been incorporated by RIRA, which is a uh, real estate um, controlling body in, in under DLD, which is the Dubai Land Department. So the escrow account is an account which is made specifically in the name of the project. So if a developer has four projects, every project will have a separate escrow account. And the money that the buyer pays goes into this escrow account, cannot be touched by the developer until he meets the standards or, or whatever the criteria is by the government according to the construction. So the amount of money that he can retrieve from the account is based on the construction that he has delivered. So Salas, as a, as a new investor in Dubai, what are the things that I should look for in investing in off-plan developments? Well, um, as a person who's investing for the first time or a regular investor, the rule is pretty much the same. Um, now, there's two factors. Either you're an end user or you're an investor. However, again, the rule is very close. Um, the first and foremost thing that you want to look at is the developer's track record. You want to see if the developer has delivered on time, delivered the quality that he's promised, and how many projects has he done, and what are his after sales service strategies. Because you don't want to just take a, a, an investment or a unit, and then later on, if you have an issue, you don't know where to go. So these things are very important. So developer's track record is of utmost value. You need to do your research, and you need to go for a developer that's reliable. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, location. 
again, location, location, location. This is a very important factor. Um, to compromise on location is more like jeopardizing your investment uh, in terms of price appreciation, in terms of um, rental potential, because obviously you have to think, even if you're an investor, you have to think like an end user. If you want to rent something, what would you choose? Which area would you go for? Um, and then once you've decided on the developer, on the location, the next thing would be the completion date and the payment plan, because the easier the payment plan is for the end user, the better of an ROI it lets you achieve. Obviously, the price also matters when you're coming to this comparison. The price per square foot is very important. You need to compare it to all the other projects in that area. It should never be overpriced. No matter what the developer promises, if it's an overpriced price, it's going to affect you later. So these, these factors are, are really important to take into consideration when you're buying an off-plan property. Yeah, and uh, amenities also, let's not forget that. See, basically the kind of amenities the developer is uh, incorporating into the that particular project are very important. You might tend to ignore that at some point or might happen or might not, but basically what happens is in Dubai, people are really used to a luxury lifestyle living and they're not ready to compromise on this when they're renting out or living in a, in a, in a home. Um, they want everything there in the building and why not when it's available in most of the major projects here. So amenities are also a very important factor to consider.